Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to start off this channel with a walk around of my 2011 Honda Civic Si. It is an 8th gen. It is an FG2 because it's a two-door model. I've had the vehicle for about two years now. It's been pretty good to me so far. One of the first mods I started out with on this car were Raceland coilovers. Right now they're about halfway down. I usually ride with them a lot lower, but I had to do some exhaust work recently, so right now I have it raised up. Next up were these Avid One AV38 wheels. I traded my stock wheels for them. I like them a lot better. I recently just painted them blue. They came out as like a machine silver when I first had them. Not sure how I like it though. Might change it up here in a little bit. Specs on those are 17 by 8 plus 38. Have a little bit of camber in the rear. I do have some Godspeed camber arms. Definitely not the ideal fitment for this vehicle. I would ideally like something a little bit larger, like an 18 by 9.5. Those will be coming in the future soon. But for now, I'm going to stay on these for a little while. Recently, I put on this STI lip. It's from a 06, 07 STI Hawkeye. Fits pretty good. I just had to do a little bit of trimming along the front to make it fit properly. Also deleted the lower grill there. I also have some hyper yellow fog light vinyls. They kind of heated up and burnt up a little bit, so I'm definitely going to be replacing those soon. We're we'll doing a how-to video on how to do that as well. The exhaust setup I'm running right now is a K-Tune 3-inch exhaust. It's a full 3-inch all the way back. That meets up with a Burke Technology 3-inch test pipe. Still have the stock shorty header, but eventually I'm going to upgrade to a Skunk 2 header or probably a K-Tune header. As far as the interior goes, I haven't touched much. Recently, I put on this bride shift knob, full titanium shift knob. The throw's a little bit longer than stock, but all the bushings and everything are still intact inside there. So it feels pretty nice when you're rowing through the gears. As far as performance mods go, I've done a couple things under the hood here. It still has the stock K20 Z3 that came in the car. Has about 155,000 miles on it right now, still running great. First thing starting off here, I did a AFD intake. Mounts up with a five inch velocity stack in there. Can't see it because the coupler. Got a pretty big filter. It's got a nice heat shield on it too. Routes down to the factory resonator to get a little bit colder air. Not sure how well that works. Um, either way, still keeps the intake air temperatures down pretty well with the heat shield. And it tapers down here to meet a J35 throttle body. I pulled this off a Honda Odyssey. I have a K-Tune gasket there to adapt it. I also have Boomba torque mounts as well. There's one there, one in the front. It's kind of hard to see down there. And then there's also a rear mount. The kit came with all three of them. As you can see, I also have some RDX injectors. These are 410 cc's. Stocks are 310's. I adjusted my Honda map to where it can run on full E85 now. Just had to up the fuel a little bit for that to work out. I'm going to insert some exhaust clips for you guys so you can hear how the setup sounds. Like I said, I've been having some trouble right now because I did blow out my exhaust gasket. So I'll be putting up some older footage, but it still sounds the same once I get everything fixed. more of this car on this channel since it is my vehicle but I'll also be doing some reviews and some walk arounds of some of my other friends cars and any kind of installs that we do in the future thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe like this video I'll have a lot more content coming up soon hope you all have a good one